How did the rainfall data missing occur? Rainfall data is frequently missing due to a variety of circumstances including equipment malfunction, power failure in recording rainfall, and the lack of an observer. What is the importance of collecting and identifying missing data and precipitation? In the water sector, the availability of rainfall data is critical. The presence of missing numbers may cause data analysis results to be affected. What is the function of the data in precipitation? The research findings will be used for a variety of purposes, including flood monitoring, data creation and forecasting, extreme weather, accuracy as light landslides. What is the method to estimate the missing data precipitation? The estimation of missing data was based on a simple arithmetic average, a normal ratio approach, the inverse distance weighting method, the method of weighting correlations, and a coordinate geographic weighting method. The study conducted was located at Ampang Station during the rainy season. This research study was identifying rainfall characteristics and patterns. The GPS Ampang Station was selected as the target station because full daily rainfall data are critical in the area. The study conducted was located at Trangani, Malaysia. Trangani was one of the states in Malaysia that experienced dry season from May until June and experienced heavy rainfall in November and December. Similar to Ampang Station, Terengganu Station also use arithmetic average method in determining the missing data. In general, the missing value is estimated using a simple arithmetic average of the rainfall in the three stations. Normal ratio method. Pohas and Kohler were the first to suggest the normal ratio method 1952. This method was also one of the methods used in Ampang Station. The method is based on the ratio mean of available data between the target station and its nearest neighbor. One of the most widely used approaches for studying rainfall spatial variation is the inverse distance approach, which is adaptable if the order of distances in the approach is customizable, in which this method was also used in Ampang Station. This method was used in Ampang Stations and Trangano research study to estimate missing data in precipitation. This method could give impact to the previous method, which is inverse distance method. To explain the seasonal regular fluctuation in gamma distribution based on Ampang Station Research Study, the Fourier series can be used. Fourier series were used to smooth the model parameters, as they can be the best to describe the rainfall patterns and its temporal variation. Geographical coordinate The IDW is more likely to use the GC method where weight coefficient is determined by neighboring station geography coordinate in Ampang Station Research Study. There were three criteria used in the study to assess the special interpolation methods, which were root mean square, RMSE, mean absolute error, MAE, and the correlation coefficient, R. Simple arithmetic average, normal ratio method, inverse distance weighting, coefficient of correlation technique, geographical coordinate, and generalized linear model were employed in the case studies at Sango and Terengganu. The reason why all of this approach was used to determine the missing rainfall data for a particular rainfall station by using few different methods that was proposed and to come up with the best method that could produce a better estimation value with less error. The further the estimation location to the measured location, the less accurate the missing data will be. The coefficient of correlation CC method summarizes the degree and direction of correlation in a number. Beside that, generalized linear model GLN also allows to response variable which have error distribution model. This method was created as a way to combine multiple statistical models including linear regression, logistic regression, and Poisson regression. From the comparison between the limitation for each method conducted, generalized linear model GLN is the best method to use with the imputation method. From the case study at GPS Ampang, Selangor, there were some issues when picking up stations such as the record on missing data, length, and the interspace between the target and neighboring stations. While from the case study at Terengganu, a few imputation methods were used to find the missing precipitation data, but unfortunately, the estimated data were far off from the actual data from the past few years. GLM was chosen as the best method because the level of missingness and the distance between stations would not majorly affect the estimated data, which is due to the combination of various regression models used in the GLM such as linear regression models, ANOVA and Poisson regression. The aim of these studies is to achieve ability to understand techniques or methods 
standard of hydrology components was achieved by estimate missing rainfall data by using five imputation approach. The study's finding revealed that, regardless of the level of missing data or distance, the imputation method with GLM consistently performs better with the minimum amount of error. To conclude this study, GLM are the best method that can be used to determine missing data on precipitation at GPS Ampang and Terengganu, Malaysia as GLM has potential to improve estimation process with better performance and minimal error.